All right, guys, even here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Wesley Research. So one more time. And now I'm not going to tell you what do I think is he going to do in the future or whatever, like I did last time. Now I'm going to try to explain to you actually why did he do how he did. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I would usually <laughs> delete this and start over. But now I think this is funny. So let's keep it here. Hopefully it's going to make you laugh a little bit anyways. I really tried to find some HD photos of Wesley, but it's really hard to find them. I just found a couple of them in a little video, so I hope that's gonna clear things up. And yeah, they're pretty high quality, so we can we can discuss this now. Much better than I could in the last video, which was a very blurry video. And uh, let's start. So basically, I wanted to say that, uh, in my opinion, uh, he did not deserve to place any better than he did. And yeah, you may hate me for it, but that's my honest opinion. The reason being is, yes, I absolutely agree that this guy has amazing genetics, amazing structure, amazing lines, everything is top-notch. He reminds us a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger and for that reason he gets a lot of criticizing. Uh, people, you know, try to compare him to Arnold, but he's nowhere near Arnold. I mean, let's be honest, let's be real, nowhere near Arnold. And, but he does have a bit smaller legs, he has pretty good bicep peak, he has a bit wider waist. And he's tall, he has a certain length of limbs, so he, for some reason, structurally, he does remind us of Arnold. But he's nowhere near there as far as muscle development, so his chest is nowhere near Arnold's crazy developed chest. His biceps are not that peaky, his back is not that developed, and his legs are not showing that kind of detail. But pretty close, I guess, the closest that you get. And uh, the thing is, you know, in this competition, he showed an amazing structure. That's what he's known for. But you can't judge a bodybuilding competition based on structure only. Does he have an amazing potential? Absolutely. Absolutely. In my opinion, he is probably the biggest potential in this division. Alongside Chris Bumstead and probably Steve Lorius. But the thing about Wesley is he is not yet out of the oven. He's just not ready yet to be victorious in this Kind of competitions. I mean, this is top-notch competition, guys. Arnold Classic, second best in the world. He's not that good yet. I mean, there is the potential. You can see, but it's really amazing. His physique is something extraordinary. When you look at him, you, you really admire it. But the thing is also, like, when you look at Hodge twins, for example, you look at their physiques, and you can really admire those as well. I mean, back in the day when they were at their peaks. So you can admire them, but when you put them on stage, you, you won't see them victorious. You won't see them winning. No way. Because they don't have the conditioning. And conditioning, guys, that's the most important factor. I mean, you can't judge the muscle if you don't see the muscle. No matter how good your structure is, your shape, your balance, your proportions, how beautiful your physique looks like on the beach, it doesn't matter on the stage. I really thought that Steve Lorre is going to win against George Peterson. But the thing is, Steve was extremely conditioned. He wasn't watery or fat like Wesley. He was conditioned as, as hell. The reason why he lost is because George packed more muscle in his frame. He was way more thick and has more uh, muscle maturity. So that's why he won. I mean, he definitely does look good in the gym and in the, on a beach or whatever, but he doesn't look that good on the stage. And I mean, sure, beautiful shape, beautiful proportions. Again, I said it too many times. But if you compare him to other guys, let, let, let me show you who were the guys who beat him. So, does this guy look like he deserved to be better than Wesley? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I mean, his legs are just a mess. Very, very disgusting. His cows are non-existent. His lats are so high. And pretty much everything is blurry from here. Not Nothing impressive here. Right? Very horrible physique, in my opinion. But then, when he turns around, you can just see the definition in those glutes. And the lower back, and the whole back, pretty much shoulders, uh, hamstrings. And judges just can't ignore that. Judges can't say, you know, you lose because your, your structure is ugly. That's not what judges do. I mean, they need to judge all the aspects. And yeah, one of the aspects probably is classic physique, but one of the more important aspects is conditioning. Like, that's what you do to get ready for a competition. And as you can see, Wesley didn't bring it. I mean, look at his glutes, his hamstrings and everything. He just looks off-season, you know. This guy was also better than Wesley as far as placings and also pretty ugly physique. For sure, nothing impressive here. But when he turns around, boom, very, very good conditioning. Again, amazing glutes, amazing hamstrings, uh, back is just very, very dry. And yeah, this guy is ready. I mean, you can see that he is ready. He was probably dieting like crazy 
or whatever is the reason he did whatever he did to make it look like this. So he definitely brought some crazy conditioning and he is ready. Uh, Jason Law, well, this guy is arguably maybe even pretty classic. We all know what classic means. Let's not try to explain it by saying every time the structure and the lines or whatever. I just happen to know his name because he is trained by Chris Asito and I follow Chris Asito on Instagram. So I know about Jason Law. And yeah, this guy had pretty good physique. But yeah, again, for the behind, you can see the definition. He came ready. He came peeled. Unlike Wesley. And then take a look at this guy. I think this guy deserved to be worse than Wesley. I mean, anyways, he was actually 6th place. Yeah, 6th place. This is just horrible, disgusting physique. Not even good for bodybuilding standards. I mean, horrible, horrible. I don't like this guy at all. But when he turns around, he shows an amazing conditioning, amazing back development and the shreddedness in the glutes and the hamstring region. For that reason, he placed higher. Also, you had this guy who is straight bodybuilder. He, I don't know what the hell is he doing in this in this division. He's actually a very good bodybuilder. If he went to 212 or something like that, he doesn't really have to add much more mass. He really looks very, very well developed and grainy and thick and, I would say, matured. He definitely doesn't belong in classic physique, but it is what it is. He was there and he placed fifth. Anyways, the point of the video, guys, is it's not about what we like or what we don't like. It's not about having a beautiful body. I mean, some people, like if you ask girls, for example, some of them would prefer that bod instead of fabs, for example. They definitely don't like masculine guys, most of them at least. And uh, it's also like your personal opinion. You definitely prefer Wesley more. Uh, then you prefer these other guys, but the judges don't care about what we like. The judges are oddly judging by their criteria, and their criteria is, you know, having muscular development, having good presentation, good posing, and one of the most important factors is conditioning. And Wesley, he has development, he has pretty good presentation, he is strong in many, many poses, but he doesn't have the conditioning. And I really love that guy, I really love his structure, he's really amazing bodybuilder and in my opinion if he manages to come peeled once in his life, he can place very very high and that's all I'm saying, I'm not hating on the dude, I don't think that he's a bad bodybuilder, I don't think he doesn't have a good potential, he definitely has an amazing potential, but that's all he's got, that's all he's got, he's got good potential, but let's see that potential, let's see how good can you actually get. I mean, for example, I listened to John Meadow speaking about his prep of Iron Classic. And he said that he was basically eating only egg whites and low-calorie ketchup for, for a long, long time. And that's how he came extremely conditioned. But you can watch Wesley's prep videos. He's eating a whole bunch of rice and vegetables and who the hell knows how many carbs a day. And then he complains. He says, they wanted me to have bigger legs, so I brought bigger legs. Well, your legs are a bit bigger than they were before, but are they big enough? Probably not. And uh, he has, I'm having the classic physique. Well, show us. Where is it? I can see it from all the water and fat. I mean, get, get dry as hell. Get, basically go on zero carb for three months. I know it's extremely hard, but don't complain about not placing higher. Because obviously they did not put that work in that was required. And you know what is the judge's criteria. You know that you need to get peeled. So get peeled, get dry, and you will win. You can be the next Mr. Olympia if you do that. Because you do have the potential. And I'm talking to him right now, but he's probably never going to watch this video. But anyways, I would really, really love to see him win. And I want to criticize him. I don't want to be all nice and supportive and tell him good job. Good job. Because that good job can only hurt him. If everybody was telling him, good job, Wesley, you were good, you were good, that's good enough, that's okay. You know, he would never be like, okay, I need to improve. He would say, well, okay, I was pretty good. I will just keep doing like this. And the judges have no idea what they're doing. No, no, improve, improve, make changes. And then you will win, and then you will be victorious, and then you will place higher, at least. So that's my take on it, guys. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Dislike the video and say something bad in the comment section below. And if you do agree with me... Tell me that in the comment section below and explain to me why do you agree. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best. Bye-bye.